Hello biology class, welcome back to another lecture and what will probably be one of the shorter ones of the unit, maybe of the course overall, I'm not sure, I haven't made them all yet. Uh, but this is lesson five, hunger and satiety. Uh, it's a little bit of an interesting word. Essentially, hunger and feeling full is the, the what the two words mean. Uh, what we're going to do is talk about why people eat and why we're able to store food. We've talked about it a little bit already. Uh, why humans are so good at storing food. Uh, and then you're going to do some research uh, about the different hormones that cause hunger and satiety. And you're going to write um, a thoughtful piece about why we can eat and why we can store food. Uh, so let's get into it. Thinking questions for the lesson. Uh, we've evolved to be eating machines, quote unquote. Uh, many different things trigger us to eat. Um, when we eat, we can eat a lot. What would be the evolutionary advantage to this? That is the thinking question. So humans have evolved to be able to eat. Lots of things trigger us to eat. If the food is going to go bad, if there's other people that might eat the food, uh, the time of day, if other people are eating. Um, there's lots of different, if we smell the food, there's lots of different things that can trigger us to eat. Um, and when we eat, we are able to eat a lot. It, is, it takes work to be able to stop before you're 100% full. What's the evolutionary advantage of all these things? Well, before there were such things as grocery stores and uh, farms and all the, like where, before all these fresh fruits were available all of the time in our fridges and all of our frozen food in our freezers humans needed to eat as much as they could when they could and store that um, if food was few and far between you needed to be able to store all the energy you could to use it later so it was very important for us to evolve into eating machines it was very uh, important that we could eat a lot and when we ate a lot that we were able to store it and that's why our bodies are good at that so hunger and satiety hunger is the sensation of needing to eat food and we've all been there uh, we've also been hangry uh, it's a very very common sensation hunger uh, and satiety is the sensation of being full and no longer wanting to eat and we've all been there as well um, so what brings on these incredibly powerful feelings? It's going, it's hormones and we're going to, you're going to do some research about those hormones, uh, in the, your job section. Um, what I'd like you to do, it's not really required, but it is very, very interesting is check out the YouTube video below, uh, and tell me how hungry you'd have to be to eat the Kazu Marzu next time I see you in class. It's a pretty interesting video. Check it out and then come back. So we also have uh, this procedure called a Ruin Y procedure. I don't have any notes on it because I don't want you to necessarily remember everything about it, but it's essentially when you get your stomach stapled. Uh, you make your stomach a whole lot smaller so that you don't feel hungry and you feel full really quickly. There's three videos. They're also in your notes at the bottom that you can check out if you want. I just thought that they're very interesting, the whole procedure uh, and how it all works. So. Um, essentially like take your esophagus and attach it to a very very small portion of the stomach uh, it's very interesting so if you want to check it out check those out and again you can come back so what I'd like you to do is I would like you to do the hunger and satiety research and there's two assignments in this lesson the second one is um, summed up best by this particular part but there's more in your booklet um, if you're to read it and I can also answer questions about this as um, I've answered lots of questions about this before so humans are designed to eat a lot when we can and be able to save some for later do some research and write one page about how our design our design about how our body is designed makes living in today's uh, society a challenge so why is it hard to live in today's society with lots of restaurants and grocery stores and fridges and freezers and parties with chips and cakes and 
on all these delicious things, why is it difficult? Why does that make, uh, why does our body's design make it difficult to live in that kind of a situation? Why is it a challenge? Again, if you have questions about what I'd like you to do, um, let me know, but it, it's all about how we are designed to store food um, and be able to eat a lot uh, compared to what's required now. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.